What's up, tubers? Working on the uh, 41 Plymouth Coca-Cola, the AMT Coca-Cola livery. Been, uh, it's got these neat little Coke bottles in it. Uh, if any of you watched my unboxing for this kit, you saw that it's got four cases of green glass Coca-Cola bottles with cool little logos that go on the side of the cases. Pretty neat. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to use that for this build, but I'm pretty stoked on those. Uh, it all started with a color. Um, I had this really nice uh, Tester's Extreme Lacquer I wanted to use on something, and so I kind of pointed it at the kits and the stash and went, huh, and this just looked perfect. Looks absolutely perfect for that car. Um, probably going to go single color, won't go two-tone. So beyond the color, uh, that went into the wheels, you know, the various options, choices, the stock wheels that it came with. Uh, again, if you've seen the unboxing I did for this video, you saw I showed these. It's got four nice tread pattern, nice width of uh, some Eagles. Are they actually GTs? can't read that. I think so. They're Eagles. They're Goodyear Eagles. Uh, good wide tire. And that also comes with four white walls. The white wall is a little off-centered. I mean, it'll look okay on a shelf, but my OCD brain sees that and goes, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> So that, and then I started looking at maybe... Maybe, I mean, yeah, it looks pretty sick, but it's a little more work and engineering that I wanted to get involved in in this build. I kind of needed just a simple, you know, throw it together and put some paint on it and move on. And it would take a little bit too much cutting and have to, you know, notch for the frame and eh, just more than I want to get involved in. So I found in my stash, um, two or four tires that are different sizes. There's big ones and small ones. Big ones for the back, small ones for the front. Good looking tire, you know, decent looking tread, nice and wide, good street look. And then that one, even further to the wheels, got to find the right wheels for the kit, you know. And uh, I'll show some pictures here of the uh, process of digging through my stash of wheels and tires and seeing what I found. And I found these oversized Coke bottles, which seemed fitting for the kit. Uh, slang term for Kragers, Krager style wheels, for Coke bottles. Had to do a little bit of carving to get the front ones to fit. The front ones kind of were a little too big. So I had to carve out the hog out the inside and make them fit. But those are gonna look really good on this car. Really good. And I won't have to do any modifications to the to the frame or anything. Might have to do a little bit of fabbing to the wheel backs, but nominal. So I uh, got everything off the tree, got everything uh, filed and sanded down. Or not sanded, but you know, not the body anyways. But filed, I got everything. Um, ugh, the the flash on this kit was pretty bad, and you know, uh, begin rant. Ugh, you know, I, I don't like dealing with flash. I mean, I know there's some modelers. A lot of people say, "Well, you're you're a build, you're an assembler, not a builder." Or, That's part of modeling, or you know what? I disagree. These things aren't cheap, okay? I mean, 20, 25 bucks. I think I paid like $25 at, at Wally World for this one, you know? And for, uh, I don't know, to five, ten dollars $10 more for like, say, that Land Rover that I just finished that was just exquisite. Zero flash, zero fab work, zero hogging out. None of this. None of this fuspus. I mean, look at that. Come on. That's just ridiculous. So, I disagree. I'm not an assembler. I am a builder. I mean, yeah, I like to assemble kits every once in a while, just sort of like this one. I wanted to just slap it together. But, gosh, you know, it's just it's frustrating when you open a kit and there's just 
so much flash and so much nonsense. How hard could it be for them to remake the molds or fix them or, you know, whatever. I'm not sure. And I'm complaining, so whatever. Moving on. Got everything uh, all off the trees, cut, sanded, ready to start doing some sub-assembly and glue it together. And then uh, I'll get into paint. So, end rant. Um, yeah. I've got two different motors here. There's two options that came in the kit. I dug in my parts box to find some, uh, I want to go a little bit beyond with it. So I found uh, a manifold. I think this was out of the MPC uh, Charger, Challenger. I'm not sure. One of The one that I made the Joe Dirt car out of. And then I found a couple big carburetors for it. So we'll do a dual carb. Uh, found some exhaust tips. Don't know if I'll use those or not, and I don't know if I'll use these or not. Some side pipes. Since it comes with these cool little short pipes, you know, it's got some, uh, that's pretty neat. The headers and really, it looks like side dumps, but, you know, depending on which way that goes, I guess that would be the collector, and that's the exhaust or the exit. So maybe put those tips on there for the exits or, you know, maybe we'll see how that works out. See if they line up right. Um, I don't know. We'll see how this goes together. And uh, I'm going to start gluing it together, sub-assembly, and getting it ready for paint. All right, there you have it. We're uh, all set for paint. Primer. Um, a couple things I wanted to chat about here. The... Uh, customization that I had to do, some of the tweaks and fabrications as I was assembling this model. Um, man, I had to, uh, took a, took a lighter. This manifold didn't quite fit as snugly as I wanted to, so I took a lighter, heated it up, smashed it down, and trimmed off the sides. It'll be fine. It's fine. You know, once, uh, once you get some paint on there and it all becomes the same color, it'll be fine. But uh, the engine and where it sits, man, fiddly kit. Fiddly, fiddly. And, uh, you know, again, I don't want to complain, but you really do get what you pay for. This has been kind of a nightmare. Doing stuff a little bit different than I normally do. Um, I've glued the tub to the chassis uh, just just because the front fender wells, the way they attached, there's like two little holes there, and that's it. And you're supposed to put those in after the fact, and those are to host the headers. Uh, and I looked at it, and I studied it, and looked, and I thought, you know what, the easiest way to do this, instead of getting it painted, and then, and then trying to glue that stuff in there once it's painted, oh, nightmare. So, I just used some, uh, model glue, some <coughs> plastic weld, and just cemented that in there, and to the chassis, so that I can get it to line up right, so that it'll look decent once you know once it goes in there and the hood opens. Uh, I'll have to attach the headers after I get it painted and inserted. So I'll have to put the motor together, all the top part, you know, the valve covers and the carburetors and all that, wire it, plug wires and stuff, then put it in. Luckily, it's uh, pretty solid where it goes. There's some engine mount things there. There's these little hooks, little hooks right there that mount up to a little spot right there inside. So registry is fine. Registration is, you know, where it's going to sit. So once I get it completed, I'll have to paint this, then mask off and paint the interior the color I want. Paint the engine, assemble it up the way I want it. And then glue it in. And after all that, take the headers 
We've already got some holes drilled out there that I kind of made the holes where it's supposed to go even bigger and then feed those in and glue them gingerly, <laughs> gently, precisely around here. Let's just take one of these off here. The, it'll already have wires in there, so then I'll have to put it in there and line it up with those holes. Uh, and hopefully they'll go in and, and it'll glue. Kind of a, uh, kind of a pain, you know? Um, again, you get what you pay for, I guess. This isn't the uh, most expensive kit by any means, and it's certainly not the most detailed. It's uh, a little under-engineered. But, you know what, whatever. Um, I assembled it, and uh, <laughs> now I'm gonna... Now I'm going to paint it and go from there. So we'll uh, start shooting some color on these things and come back and uh, let, you know, see how that went and probably probably just let it dry and then go, go into a uh, final assembly. All right. Got color on everything. Wow, that brown just looks so good. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So... Got the uh, tan brown in the interior, going with the blue motor and um, shiny components. Got the chrome headers, and got some other silver stuff, and kind of a different colored silver chrome. Got a coat of flat on all the chrome pieces. Uh, next to B to run some black wash on that stuff and little bit of details here and there wire up the motor and start gluing it together so pretty cool really digging this brown looks absolutely perfect on that car absolutely perfect I don't know if that's even on camera Ooh, shiny so I'm gonna let that set let it dry and uh, probably let it set overnight come back and play with it tomorrow <laughs> 